Now for this question then, briefly we've got a curve C with equation y equals f of x where x is greater than zero. We're told that it passes through this point P with coordinates 4, 5 and we're given the gradient function dy dx. It equals 3x minus 5 over root x minus 2 and the question is we've got to find f of x. So how do we do this one then? Well to get f of x or y we need to integrate 3x minus 5 over root x minus 2 with respect to x. We've got to work backwards. So that's where we first start then. So we can say that therefore y equals the integral of this particular function. And we'll just write it in first of all, 3x minus 5 over root x minus 2. Don't forget to write brackets there because there's more than one term, okay, that you're integrating with respect to x. Now to integrate something like this, we've got to put all the terms in the form ax to the power n. And the term that's not in that form at the moment is this one, 5 over root x. So we need to prepare that one. So this is still then the integral of the first term 3x. But this term can be thought of as 5 times x, well 5 over x to the power half. Remember root x is x to the power half. But if we bring the root x to the top, it becomes a negative power. So it's 5x to the power minus a half. And then the minus 2 is OK. So we just put that there. And that's integrated with respect to x. So we're ready to integrate these terms. And for anything like this, all you do is just simply add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we've got the 3. This is now x to the power 1, add 1 to the power, so it's x to the power 2, and divide by that new power, so that's 2. We come on to the next one, we've got minus, we've got minus 5 actually, add 1 to the power of minus a half, add 1 to that, and you get x to the power half, and divide by the new power, a half. When you get a constant to integrate, you just simply put an x on the end. But what you mustn't forget is to add a constant of integration. Um, I'm going to call it plus c. You can use any letter you like, k, a, whatever, okay? But I'm just going to call it plus c. Now, we need to tidy this up. When we tidy this up, this term, don't write it as one and a half, just leave it as 3x squared over 2. For this one, we times top and bottom by 2. That gives us 5 times 2, which is 10. x to the power half over 1. Well, obviously, we can ignore the 1. This term, minus 2x, and then we've got the constant of integration, plus c. Now, we've got basically y, but we have got this constant of integration, which we've got to work out. And to do that, we know that because the curve passes through this point P with an x-coordinate of 4 and a y-coordinate of 5, we can say that when x equals 4, we know that y will equal 5. So we can substitute this into this equation here. And that will allow us to work out what that constant of integration is. So if we do that, we're therefore going to have that in place of y, we've got 5 equals 3 times x squared, so that's 4 squared over 2, minus 10 multiplied by x to the power half, 4 to the power half. Now remember, that means the square root when you've got a power, so that's the square root of 4, minus 2x, 2 times 4, plus c. So if we work this out, we've got 5 equals, well, 4 fours are 16, divide by 2 is 8, and 3 eighths, 24. Square root of 4 is 2, 10 twos are 20, so minus 20, minus 8, plus c. So if we work this out, we've got 24 take away 20, which is 4, take away another 8, that's minus 4, so therefore we've got 5 equals minus 4 plus c. 
And so if I add 4 to both sides, I end up with C equaling 5 plus 4, which is 9. And so I just need to substitute this back into our equation down here. So therefore, we end up with Y, which is equal to F of X. And so that's going to be equal to 3X squared over 2 then minus 10x to the power half. You can just leave it as 10x to the power half or you could write root x if you like. Minus 2x and then plus that c value of 9. And there's your answer.